the alarm goes off in the morning and you're sitting there for a moment and you either slap the crap out of the alarm because there's no way you're getting up at 6.30 or you pop out of bed, ready to roll, start with this new habit of waking up early, going to the gym and changing your life forever. In reality, changing habits and sticking with them is a lot harder than we think. What's up guys, it is Alex Hine here, author of Master Day, and I wanna share with you five of the best things I've realized about changing habits backed by science. Habit secret number one, you are much more likely to stick with a habit if you link it to an event. If you're trying to eat more fruits and veggies, rather than just trying to eat more fruits and veggies and having that as an actual habit, link it to some kind of event. For example, in one study they found that if you take participants and you have them eat fruits or veggies along with a certain meal, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and then their habit is to add veggies or fruits to that meal, rather than just add veggies and fruits to their day, they're way more likely to do it. So that might mean having an apple with your breakfast every morning, or having a bowl of fruit with your dinner every night. If you link the habit to another pre-existing event that already takes up space in your mind and in your calendar, you're much more likely to do it. Habit secret number two, if you're trying to reach a fitness goal or a life goal, you're more likely to see the success you want if you focus on a habit-based regimen versus a goal-based regimen. Now, in this one particular study, they found that participants lost almost double the weight over half a year if they focused on cultivating the certain key habits they were working on rather than focusing on the core goals that they were working on on a daily basis. Now, I've actually introduced you to this concept of stacking up your habits and the habit pyramid, where essentially if you want to reach the goal on the top, the very top cup here is the weight loss goal you're trying to reach or the life goal, for example, losing 30 or 40 pounds, writing a book, or having a better relationship with your spouse or your partner. The goal is the cup on top, but so often we try to place the cup on top without ever stacking the cups underneath it. And so the essence here is shifting your focus to stacking each cup on a day-to-day -day basis rather than just trying to stack the top cup, which is just focusing on your goal. If the goal and the habit are aligned, for example, today, you focus on if you're trying to go to the gym, the habit is, okay, maybe I link this to leaving work so that every time I leave work, I see the tendency to stop by the gym and get my workout done. If you focus on the day-to-day -day habit, you're more likely to actually build that pyramid and reach the cup on the top, which is your goal. Habit secret number three, link your habits together because they're more likely to stick that way. You ever think about why getting in your car, turning it on, and then buckling your seatbelt is such an easy habit? Or what about brushing your teeth and flossing? The reason is that these two habits get linked to another habit that you already have as a habit. So if you're ready or brushing your teeth every day, and then it's just a matter of adding flossing to brushing your teeth, then it's much easier rather than if you just had no habit of brushing your teeth, and then you were trying to create this new space in your calendar where you were trying to floss. Well, how does this work in reality? If you're trying to develop the habit of stretching and doing some yoga for your back or your neck or your hips, what you can do is link it to a certain event like we talked about in habit secret number one. What I do and find that works really well is linking stretching to waking up in the morning. So when you try to fit in stretching randomly throughout the day, it just doesn't work. You're busy, you've got a schedule here and there, it's inconsistent. But if you cultivate the habit, every single week you have it on paper that stretch immediately after waking up for five minutes, I found that this has become one of my easiest life habits to maintain. And actually it feels weird now when I don't stretch when I wake up. So if you link the stretching to just waking up rather than trying to stretch after work, trying to stretch at some point throughout the day, trying to stretch at night, if you link it to the actual event of waking up, you're going to find that you're much more likely to actually do it. Habit secret number four, if you put your habits in the calendar, you're a lot more likely to do them. I realize this is not rocket science, but it's shocking to me how easy it is if you just say you want to meditate and then you put it in the calendar. So just like if you're in school or you're working or you have a family and kids, if you put down meditate 10 minutes as the top bar in your calendar reminder before school, before work, before kids, or if you put it after, as long as it's in that calendar that you live religiously on and you focus there, you're a lot more likely to do it. 
So if you're planning on doing workouts, if you put those three 30-minute workouts in, in the actual calendar, so you get the reminders for them, it's a lot more likely that you make them a reality because then they are anchored as physical concrete things in your schedule. And finally, habit fitness secret number five, you are much more likely to stick with workouts if you do them at the same place and at the same time every single day. In one particular study, they found that people that were working out four days a week, that was the tipping point for turning it into a lifelong habit. Now, they also found that the chances of a person sticking with the habit were the highest. 88% stuck with the habit if they went to the same place and did it at the same time every day. Now, this is something I realized pretty early on because the same place, the same gym, and the same time right after work was my habit when I started working out in my early 20s. And now that's anchored into my routine and maybe even my physiology where I feel weird at 5, 6, or 7 o'clock if I haven't worked out yet. That's become my new anchor and my new link. And just like it's easier to stick with sleep and easier to have better quality sleep when you wake up and go to sleep at the same time, or your digestion prefers having regular meals at similar spaces, your workout schedule will also become a better habit. And one little bonus tip here, most of the recent research on habit sticking suggests that it takes about 66 days of doing a habit for it to become some level of automatic much more automatic than it may be right now. So I hope that helps. Those are the five secrets backed by science for creating and sticking with healthy fitness habits. Before you go, I want you to leave a comment right there below. Let me know for you what's a habit you're working on, what's a habit you want to have, and that you can apply these five steps towards. Hey guys, it's Alex. Did you like this video? If so, there are three ways you can really stay in touch with me. The first thing is obviously to click the subscribe button right there. Every single day I'm releasing a brand new Tiny Habit video to help you lose weight, feel awesome, and live better. Second thing is you can check out my book Master the Day. Brand new, just came out, it's been topping the Amazon bestseller list, and it's been getting great feedback. It's all about the tiny success habits to help you lose your next 20 or 30 pounds and get to kind of that next level both in your health but also in your life. And the third thing is come visit me over on my website modernhealthmonk.com. Punch in your email there and I'll give you a free guide on the exact five daily habits to help you lose your next 20 or 30 pounds. So go do those three things now and I look forward to catching you in the next video.